If you are anything like me, chances are you've probably had your Zigbee network and devices running happily away in the background for months or maybe even years at this point. Because once you've got it in and working, you never really need to do anything with it other than maybe add a new device. And there's never really any compelling reason to mess around or to upgrade your Zigbee coordinator. And at least there wasn't until this little guy, the SkyConnect, came out. See, this one does actually have a good reason to upgrade for many people. And that is that it can run both Zigbee and the new upcoming smart home standard matter at the exact same time. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've had my Sky Connect for months and months at this point and never really got around to adding it to my system. But finally, the other day, I was about to chuck it in there and start using it when I realized that this device has been sold out for months and months, which means that a lot of you have probably bought one and are also wanting to know how to migrate over your existing Zigbee network to your Sky Connect once you get yours. So I figured I would make this into a video and it made sense to take you along for the ride. This is actually an update to an older video I did where I showed you how to back up and restore your Zigbee network. And the reason for updating that video is that you'll be glad to hear things have gotten a lot easier in the year or so since it was made. So the only things you're actually going to need are two supported Zigbee coordinators. Your old one, which you should already be using, and then the new one that you want to migrate over to. In this case, I'm gonna be migrating to the SkyConnect. I'm gonna be showing you how to back up on both Zigbee to MQTT and ZHA, so you can keep this backup should you ever need it. But for the migration process, I'll be showing you how to migrate to ZHA, which is the preferred option for SkyConnect, which I'm using and I'm guessing many of you will also. You can use this process to migrate from Zigbee to MQTT to ZHA, which I'll also show you, but not the other way around, at least currently. The first thing we're going to do is to take our backup. So in Home Assistant, if you are using ZHA, you're going to want to head over to Settings, Devices and Services, find ZHA in the list and hit the Configure button, and then hit the Download Backup button. After a few seconds, you'll be prompted to save the backup file, so go ahead and store that in a safe location. If you're using Zigbee to MQTT, you'll find the backup option under the Tools menu of Zigbee to MQTT, where you can hit the Request Backup option, then download your backup and save the backup zip to your machine. You can then unzip this file, and the file called zigbeecoordinator.json is the file you will be interested in for later. Now that you've got your backup file, it's time to commit and remove your old Zigbee dongle, replace it with your new one, and pray that your Zigbee network still works. Just kidding, it should be fine, hopefully. First, plug in your new SkyConnect or whichever new Zigbee dongle you are using alongside your old Zigbee stick so that they are both running in parallel. Then inside of Home Assistant, head over to Settings, Devices and Services, and hit the Configure button on ZHA once again. Note, if you are migrating from Zigbee to MQTT at the same time to ZHA, you will first need to add the ZHA integration by going to Add Device, Add a Zigbee Device, and following through the prompts to add the ZHA integration. And it's gonna give you the option to restore your Zigbee coordinator.json file that you downloaded earlier. If you were already using ZHA, then next to the backup button, hit the migrate radio button, at which point it will inform you that ZHA will be stopped in order to proceed. Then on the next screen, hit the migrate to new radio button and then hit submit once again. What this will do is take an automatic backup again of the Zigbee radio and then reset your old Zigbee stick. We didn't necessarily need to do the backup that we did earlier, but that file is really nice to have just in case. Once the reset of your old stick has been completed, you can then go ahead and unplug it on the next screen if you want to. Then it's gonna ask which Zigbee dongle is the new one which you are going to want to select from the list. I am selecting the Home Assistant Sky Connect on my one, and then on the next screen, I'm going to select Restore Automatic Backup and select the latest backup from the list and then hit Submit and sit tight and wait for the restore to complete. 
At this point, your Zigbee network should have been migrated over to your new radio, and I'd recommend going into your Zigbee devices and selecting a few devices at random to make sure they are online and working. Now, at this point, you might go in and see some devices are unavailable, but don't panic. I've seen some devices be unavailable for 15 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes or so, and then appear back online and work as normal. It might be tempting to go in and reboot or start trying to repair devices, but just be patient and give it some time to do its thing, especially if you do have a larger network. I was once restoring my own network and it took about 45 minutes or so for everything to come back online, but everything was fully functional. But that was before any of the UI options existed and it does seem to be a lot quicker these days, so hopefully you shouldn't run into any issues like that. The only thing that's really missing for me is a way to do sort of an automated backup of your Zigbee network on a daily basis. But if you go in and have a look at the list of services, there doesn't seem to be any option for a ZHA backup sort of option, which would be really nice. In the way that we can do daily backups of our Home Assistant server as a whole, it would be nice if we had a service available to go in and do a backup of your Zigbee network, but that isn't here just yet. And there we go, that is how to backup, restore and migrate your Zigbee network over to a new SkyConnect or any new Zigbee dongle. That was a nice, short and sweet one today, but I figured since lots of you have been picking up and receiving your SkyConnect, that you would be interested in how to do it. And since I was migrating my system over to SkyConnect 2, then it made sense to cover this in a video and show you exactly how to do it and hopefully take away some of the worry of messing around with your Zigbee network. Hopefully you found this useful. In fact, let me know down in the comments which Zigbee stick you came from originally and what you have upgraded it to. Was it a SkyConnect that you went for or did you go with something else? Other than that, thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next one.